my people my people my people what is going on this is coach sean as you know i am here live as you see at beautiful brian denny hot feel great about the team i honestly feel like a baked potato that has been cooked but i am ecstatic happy and proud to be here man how are you guys doing testing hope everybody can hear me if we can't let me know in the chat um if you guys can hear me well please let me know if i need to be louder please let me know roll tie to you guys um please give me some feedback on how it, the the audio sounds with the announcer still announcing the mvps uh Let's see, Jeff says, I can hear you. You was it a good day, but it was a great day, man. It was an absolute great day. You understand what I'm saying? Look, Martha Ivy, Coach Smith, Jeff, brother, listen, it was a great day. It was a great day, man. It, it's a blessing to be here. Um, a great, 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 great day, man, to, to, to enjoy Alabama football, to enjoy the undefeated to enjoy all of our fans, man, family, um, to see the players really get after it, right? I was really, really, really happy. And I'm going to tell you something I'm so ecstatic about. Our offensive line kicked ass today, right? Take that how you want it, good, bad, or indifferent. Shout out to the offensive line. The first-team offensive line did their thing, right? Shout out to those guys, man. Shout out to the offense. Shout out to Kobe Prentice. Shout out to Jeremy Bernard. Shout out to Ty Simpson. Shout out to Jalen Miro. Man, shout out to Justice Haynes and Jam. Listen, shout out to, to, to Daniel Hill. Shout out to Richard Young. I personally think it's no debate. Alabama has the best quadruple, quadrant, four, quartet, whatever you want to call it, of running backs in the country. Hands down. If you find four better running backs on the roster at the same time, I got a bridge in Brooklyn. I'd love to sell you, right? Richard Young, Daniel Hill, right? Two names who we all know, but two names that absolutely did their thing. Physical runners. Physical runners, man. Daniel Hill is a freshman, and this kid was running over people. Running over people and taking names. Richard Young is an absolute monster. I heard this kid was just as good as Jam, just as good as, as Justice. They weren't lying. Right, jam and justice, absolute monsters. There is no better running back quartet in the country. Period. What's up, Jay Towns? I missed you here, brother. Roll tied to Jay. We missed you, bro. Great day, man. Blessed day. Still beautiful out here, guys. You see all the people. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful here, man. Um, they're still right now calling out uh MVP awards for offense and defense. Spring awards for guys who did good things all spring. Coach DeBoer is an absolute mastermind. Coach Saban was here. Uh, it was absolute, absolutely a great day. Katrina, I was looking for you, man. Jeremy Bernard is a dog. I think Jarvis said it best. Jeremy Bernard is a dog. And what I like about Jeremy Bernard, he wants that football. I love receivers like Devontae Smith that want that football, right? Number five wanted the football. He was calling for it. We have a dog. I told y'all about Kobe Prentice. Kobe caught that shallow cross, man, and took that thing almost to the house. Listen, man. Listen. Let them think Bama down all they want, bro. Let them think that, people. You understand what I'm saying? It was a great day. I got a chance to see Coach Saban. Got a chance to see Roll Tide Willie. Shout out to Tink, man. Got a chance to see my brother Tink. Got a chance to see me and Patriot Life been together the whole day. Right? Shout out to my broski, my brody, my big broski. Love him to death, Patriot Life, man. Listen, me and Patriot Life been together the whole time, brother. I got a chance to see Adam. I got a chance to see Caleb. I got a chance to see Bama, uh, Bama Fan 95. I got a chance to see so many people, man. Jerome from Birmingham, Piano Man, Rev, uh, man, Caleb, everybody, man. Uh, Metco Smooks family. Listen, absolutely awesome, man. Sweet Home Bama 24, Jarvis. Everybody, my daughter's still here. She's parched. The sun has cooked her like a little potato, right? 
She's sweating, and I love it. Get oh. these kids out of the house, off the phone. I am out of the house. And I'm let's always, get it right. Right? I always am out of the house. So here's the thing what I enjoy, people. Here's the thing. Here's the thing what I enjoy. The, the offensive line showed me what I wanted to see. Right? I wanted to see the offensive line. I wanted to see the secondary. I saw what I needed to see. Now, I'll say this. Zabian Brown gave up some things, but Zabian Brown is going to be an absolute dog. You know why? That kid was in perfect position every time. I think it was Jeremy Bernard who got inside leverage on his inside shoulder, turned him a little bit, caught a great pass. The wind is blowing, excuse me. Jeremy, um, Zabian was right there every time, right in his hip pocket. That kid does not play like a freshman, man. That kid does not play like a freshman. Peyton Woodyard, awesome, outstanding. We have some young kids, Drake Kirkpatrick. We have some young kids, Jalen Mbakwe, who's probably going to be the punt returner. You know what I mean? We have some young freshmen on this team that you should be excited about, right? Number 15, you should be excited about. These kids were absolute dogs, right? They, get, they did what I thought they was going to do. They gave up a play or two. That's okay. I wanted to see your, your competition level. Were you going to compete with these guys? Were you going to line up and compete? That's why I was glad that we did it the way we did. That way, that way you won't be across from the same receiver every time. You got a chance to guard Jeremy Bernard. You got a chance to guard Kobe Prentice. You got a chance to guard Kendrick Law when they moved him from the inside. Right? So I wanted to see... Zabian Brown, Damani Jackson, dog, dog, right? I was very, very proud of this secondary, very, very proud of, of the running backs, very, very, very proud of the offensive line. So listen, let these people think what they want to think, guys, right? You saw a freshman today get out there with some veterans and absolutely show that you know what, right? I was very, very proud of uh, play calling. I was very, very, very proud of how these guys competed. Shout out to Wilk and Formby. Wilk and Formby is a, is, a, is a beast, man. That kid is getting better and better and better. I do believe that Caden Proctor is going to come back and, and provide some competition at that left tackle spot. Oh, the wind is blowing now, guys. Pardon me. The wind is blowing. It almost took Kyle's camera. <laughs> Luckily, with the superior athletic ability, I caught it. We good. Um, I think we're going to be fine, guys. I think we're going to be fine, man. It, 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 it's amazing that we lose all that talent every year. We lose all that talent to the NFL. We lose all this talent uh, to, to the transfer portal. And these guys still come out and compete at the highest level, right? If you're an opposing fan base, you have to be weary and worried about what you just saw from the University of Alabama. That was a scrimmage game, man. And I promise you, those guys were absolutely competing. Competing, man. The young guys. That's what I wanted to see. The young guys. How do the young guys compete? Shout out to Xavier Brown. Shout out to all the freshmen who got out there and compete. Um, shout out to John ja Moran Lathan, who provided a lot of a lot of disruption from that defensive front. Um, we got talent, guys. We got talent. We have no shortage of talent. Uh, I knew that was never going to be the problem. Talent is never the problem. Can you put it together to provide the necessary and ample amount of competition? I want to know what you guys thought. For all of you that did watch the A-Day game, put in the chat. Run those numbers up, guys. Please hit that like button and let the world know. Let me know in the chat what you guys saw and let me know how you feel about it. Jarvis, what you feel about it. Dwight. D. DuBose, what you feel about it? LaQuasia, I met LaQuasia. Absolutely beautiful family. Beautiful. Uh, great, great, great person, as I knew she would be. You know what I mean? Blessed to absolutely meet her. Uh, seen Marquita. Seen all their pictures here, man. Listen, you got, if you didn't get to come, I promise you guys missed it. Now, it was hot as hell. Don't get me wrong. It was hot as hell. Uh, um my daughter was cooked like a potato, right? It, you know, it, 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 this was no environment to try to look cute in because the sun wasn't having it, 
right? But the way I look at it is we're blessed. Look at this day. Look at this day, man. You know what I'm saying? The people are still walking around. It's, it's recruits everywhere. I've had so many recruits. I've met so many people today. It's ridiculous and it's crazy to have so many people coming up to you. That's crazy, right? I'm humbled by it. Uh, my family, my little girl is humbled by it. Um, I'm ecstatic about Alabama football today. I feel better about this football team than I have all season. Um, I knew they were going to be good. We all knew they were going to be good. I didn't know how good, right? Different scheme, uh, different format. How's it going to go? Well, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> Look out, man. We got quarterbacks on this roster who I think could play at the drop of a hat. We have running backs on this roster. Our offensive line has gotten better since the first scrimmage. Um, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic about it. And I'm ecstatic that our young guys, our young guys stepped up and played like vets. You couldn't tell they were young guys. I promise you that a mistake here, a mistake there. That's normal. That's normal in these games. These kids competed. They competed, man. And I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of Coach DeBoer. I feel special that I got a chance to see Coach Saban again. Um, the uh, the champions, the, the the permanent captains, putting their hand in the cement. Man, listen, shout out to Chris from New Jersey. What's up with your brother? Listen, guys, if you weren't here, you missed it today, I promise you. It was absolutely a beautiful, beautiful day. It was hot as hell, but I look at that as a plus. I don't want to complain because God blessed us with the most beautiful day that you could possibly have out here. Everybody grilling, everybody eating, everybody moving around. Families are here. Man, listen, the beers are flowing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was just looking for some damn H2O, right? Because um, I was cooked like a potato, but I feel good. My team looked great. Uh, I don't think anybody was majorly injured. I'm excited about that. Shout out to LT Overton, who got down. Shout out to LT Overton, who got down, right? Um Justin Jefferson got down. Very ecstatic to see him. Justin Jefferson, the middle linebacker, got down. Um, so take your pick, man. Take your pick. We did very, very well on the offensive line. I think we did ecstatic in our secondary. The second team secondary played well. Um, I wonder what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think, man. Um, Coach. Can you hear me, Coach? I think you muted yourself. Can you hear me now? I can hear you loud and clear, Coach. How are you? Man, listen, my bad, Ty. I wasn't even looking at the screen. My fault, guy. Let me catch this super chat real quick. Shout out to Jake Townsend. OG Jay Townsend, Coach Sean, I wanted to be there, but I watched it on TV. The offense was exceptionally good. Tell Coach Smoot to give me your number, to give me your number so we can call it. I definitely will. I definitely will, Jay. I got you covered. They'll be over here in just a second. Hey, Trevor Panetta, turn up, bro. Ty, let me get my man Ty in here right now. Thank you, um, Jay Townsend. Jay, I appreciate you, bro. Road tied to you, and I'll definitely do that. That's a whole fact. Shout out to OG J Townsend. Shout out to OG Ephraim, who I got a chance to meet today. Man, listen, Ty. Listen, I'm trying to watch this uh, this ring light and this cameras. This wind is blowing. Ty, what did you sure. think? I need to know what you thought. Ty Hayes is about to give us his synopsis. I'm going to put this mic down. I want to hear what Ty says. What were you happy about, Ty? And if you saw anything that you that posed a bit of concern for you, what was it? What were your thoughts overall? So, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. In the first half, I was so just enamored with Milrow's growth. Anybody who is still doubting what Milrow is doing, you're choosing not to pay attention. At this point, it's a conscious choice not to pay attention to what you're seeing. It's just like in that movie, in the book 1985, you know what I mean by Orwell, like don't believe your eyes. Well, that's what you're choosing to believe is not what you're seeing. That throw. Jalen Milrow had to Jeremy Bernard was exceptional. That was an NFL throw all day. We know he's got the arm talent, but that touch on that throw, you can't orchestrate that. And another thing I'd like to point out, Coach, something you and I talk about all the time, did you see the pass pickup by Justice Haynes? 
allowing yes, him I time did. to get that throw. That pass is exactly what we have been talking about. Great to see. I'll tell you who stood out to me, Coach. 41, Justin Okorwonkwo. He's young. He hasn't been playing football for an exceptionally long time, nor has he been playing big boy football here in the United States very long. He's just now coming to the Dide. Nick Saban said if this guy was playing high school ball in, a, in the United States, he said he'd be a five-star. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I saw was the tendencies of a five-star linebacker. You're talking about someone who, yes, he's got two guys in front of him, plus Justin Jefferson was flying around. Okorwonkwo is going to be a whole problem whenever he gets the opportunity. Now, the one thing that was a little bit, I won't say concerning, because I think that the broadcast did a great job of eloquating how this secondary is going to grow over time. You're switching from a match-style coverage to a yeah. more read-react-style coverage. That's going to take time. That's yes. not going to be something that just you jump into. But the way the defense adjusted in the second half, quote-unquote, that I found to be very encouraging. You could even tell some of the veteran guys. Like there was one play where – Justin Jefferson was blitzing, and Deontay Lawson went to follow in behind him. Well, Richard Young squirted right outside the other side for a massive game. Thanks. Up in the second half. Mm -hmm. That's all just understanding. Coach, I think you hit the nail on the head. I cannot wait for more time to continue. And ladies and gentlemen, for a patchwork offensive line, I think what you're yes. seeing is the Coach Cap effect. He hasn't been there six months, and already you're seeing the difference in the offensive line from a Formby, from an Olos, from a KC Poe. James Brockermeyer had a great day. Jeremy Bernard is such a welcome addition to this team. Keon Sab was out there, and Damani Jackson, listen. He flexed that speed, running down two different tackles, and then had a great play where Caleb Odom made the catch. But let's be honest, Damani Jackson was on him like stink on poop. I mm -hmm. mean, all, all over him. I think that, Coach, what, it's hard to summarize what we saw today because there was a lot of good. There's a lot of growth that will continue. But if you're an Alabama fan, you need to be very excited about what you saw offensively and how the defense responded. I think mm -hmm. that in and of itself is huge. I love all the things you pointed out, though, Coach. Well, I, I got to he hear more of your takes because you were there. Unfortunately, I'm sitting back out here in the backyard, you know, just got back home, so I wasn't able to be there. But you you bet your sweet bippy I'll be there next year, and we'll have to cut it up together. Coach, what stood out to you? <sighs> Damani Jackson and – Man, it's so many guys, bro. If I had to pick a few things that stood out to me, Damani Jackson played well, man. He played coverage well. He played vision coverage well. Um, Keon Saab was physical as all get out. Um, our left, our right tackle, Wilkin Formby, is a monster. That kid is probably going to start at right tackle. I don't think nobody's going to move him out. I do not think nobody's going to move him out, man. Um, but if I had to pick one, I would say let me give a big shout out to somebody we never speak with, we never speak about. This kid is physical. I heard this kid was the more physical of the two. But the other young man, no disrespect, got all the pub. Shout out to James Brockermeyer. James Brockermeyer is a damn dog. Because he was whipping, whipping the defensive front on several occasions. Several occasions, James got down. I'm telling you guys. I think I've seen maybe three plays where they, they got the best of James. James Brock. And, and you know what makes you know what it makes me pose? What the hell was James last year? <laughs> you know, it's like if this kid is playing this well, why didn't we go to him last year? It's like, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't have the answers. Shout out to James Brockemeyer because you'll get your flowers from me, young man. You balled out. You played absolutely well. You dominated your box. Um, I'm just re really, really, really happy and ecstatic uh, to have an offensive line that actually moved people in spots. Now, the defense came around, just like Ty said, and they, and they tightened up and they came and they played better, right? But I love the fact – this is what I was telling you guys about, Ty, about this offensive scheme. It put the safety 
in a very precarious situation. These counters, these, these, these step on the safety toes, go to his toes, break routes, crossing routes, meshes, uh, comebacks. These things are what gives defenses problems, right? This is just the spring, right? So I'm if I had to pick one thing, Ty, the offensive line. I'm gonna go with the offensive line, James Brockemeyer, you know, and the whole crew. Shout out to the offense like Tyler Booker did Tyler Booker things, right? Tyler Booker did Tyler Booker things, man. Um, I can't say enough about him. The running lanes, the running lanes, Ty, the pass protection, just like you said, the running backs picking up pass pro. That, that is what I'm so happy about, man. And um, I'm elated, man. I'm elated for it. And uh, how you feel about it, Ty? So one thing I would I would caution everybody to remember, because I see some people a little bit concerned with the offensive line. And listen, in spots, no doubt about it. I mean, you had all quarterbacks, Ty Simpson, Jay LeVarro, Dylan Lonergan, and even Mac. Ty, yes, let sir. me interrupt you one second. Apologize. We got Marquita. See if you guys can see that. See if I can see if I can get these guys. See if I can get these guys right here. That is Marquita and family right there. What's up, guys? Bro, Ty. If you guys can see them, they're right there, I think. <laughs> Trevor Pernell, what up, bro? Roll Tide, homie. Live. As you guys see, the undefeated That's awesome. is here. Trevor Pernell Sports, Mark Kiga, the whole crew is here. We're doing our thing. I hope you can see them. I hope yeah, we could see them. That's awesome, Coach. Yeah, man, they all here. Everybody here, man. It's crazy. We miss you, Todd. We spoke about all. We spoke about you. We spoke about Jance. We spoke about Meryl. Wherever you guys are, we're thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? Roll Tide. Willie was out here. He had about a mile-long line of people trying to take pictures with him and say he don't give a piss about the Tide. Roll Tide. Don't Willie's give a, a star. Piss about nothing but the Tide. Nothing but the Tide, man. I couldn't believe the line that was that was there um, to take a picture with Willie. He is an absolute star. Shout out to Willie. Um, it's just been a blessing, man. It's been a blessing. That's why I say this chat. It's so different, Ty. And everybody that we ran up on, everybody was asking, is Ty here? Is Jance here? Is Meryl here? I must have heard that probably 50 times, right? So these I'm people sorry. were asking. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You missed it. Go ahead, Ty. It Kyle. hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, and the undefeated, we have some breaking news. Lotsier Brooks commits to Alabama. And, yes, he might be a three-star right now, but bet your bottom dollar on it. Go ahead, get your bank accounts ready. We can we can start a pool. He will end up a top 250 prospect at worst. Why do I say thing. that, Coach? First and foremost, 22 touchdowns on the year. And for anybody that watched his film, you'll be incredibly impressed at the way he was able to operate. Only does he have the iteration early in the route. Coach, he's got the long speed. So he's able yep. to win in the early portions of the route by just being more explosive in the intermediary portions of the route with his speed. And then in the long portion of the route, you're not catching him. Top speed of 22.7 miles per hour, fastest player they charted in all of high school football. Lotsier Brooks out of New Jersey. You are the next great wide receiver to play for Coach Shepard and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, one thing I will say, Coach, that you know it's still a work in progress. Yeah, is the snaps. We started to see yeah. some of the snap rolling on the ground, and I swear to you, I thought I was going to have a Winter Soldier-esque yeah. snap whenever I saw those snaps on the ground. I started twitching. Yeah. I, I didn't know how to control myself, but but it'll get situated. I have no yeah. doubt about that. It'll get situated. Really excited about the, the offensive line coach. Coach Cap, I already do see a difference. And ladies and gentlemen, Caden Proctor was in attendance, and he does look like he shed about 15, yeah. 20 pounds since Stalking. last season. Yeah. That's going to be big. That competition at left tackle, that will be big. Really looking forward to that. Listen, if, if you're someone who is pessimistic about Jalen Milrow, I still see some people in here, right, being pessimistic about Jalen Milrow. First and foremost, I saw someone saying he'll hit the portal. I guarantee that's a fan of another team praying 
that Jalen Milrow hits the portal. That way Thanks. they can pick him up. Did yeah. you see what I saw? Listen, nobody's saying that give him the Heisman today, but you cannot be genuine and say that you didn't see massive improvement, and this is the early stage. Coach Sean, what were we just talking about the other day? The fact yes. that this is all well and good, but fall camp is where we're really going to see some separation. Where We're, we're still in stage one, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, and this is what we saw stage one. Coach, I will say this. I don't think it's a hot take at all to say Alabama, at least arguably, has the deepest running back room in all of college football. I do not find that to be a hot take in the slightest. That's a whole fact. I spoke on that just a second ago. I know with some other great teams, with some other great running back duos, but when you look at us across the board, you look at our starters, you look at the two guys that's backing, them, backing those guys up, with Kevin Riley still to come, with Turbo still to come, you don't get the name Turbo by being slow, right? Listen, Alabama's running back room, I think that is the deepest part of our team. I think we have the best running back room in the country. Just look, Daniel Hill is a freshman. We hadn't had a kid to tote the rock like that uh, and run with that forward lean. You see how many people big. it took to bring him down? Yeah, that kid is a horse, man. It Listen, looked like it, me trying to be taken back from the buffet line. It was something to <laughs> behold. Richard Young. Richard Young. We know Jam and Justice. Jam and Justice did their thing. Jam and Justice are going to do Jam and Justice things. Richard Young, man. Richard Young is awesome. Four guys. Four guys that could legitimately be starters anywhere. So we're blessed to have those guys. So you're right, Ty. I would put our running back room against anybody's. All facts. And listen, I can name you running back rooms that I love, right? That, yeah. that I look at and I'm like, hey, all respect to you. And Jared, you make a great point. We have 126 likes. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may take 30 seconds. Yeah. Likes, very easy to do. Hit that like button. But I understand as a YouTube viewer myself, I can't tell you how many times I've been interacting in a live stream and just forgotten to hit that like button. But truly, that does help spread this channel. That helps spread this live stream in the YouTube algorithm. It is an interaction. I apologize. The wind is kicking up out here, so that might affect yeah. my mic. But hit that like button while we're here. And Coach Sean, you can go ahead and tell the people. We're not going to say who it is, but you got confirmation via a picture yesterday of a very special guest who will be joining this panel on Tuesday. Should the people be excited about that? Is that something they should put in their calendars, what we got coming on Tuesday? I think so. I think so, Ty, because when I had the picture, I got excited about it myself. I'm like, whoa. So I knew if this guy was going to make an appearance, we had to make some special preparations for him. We had to make some special preparations for him. To have a character of this magnitude is, is, is irregular. So we got we to gotta do it big for him. We got to do it big for him. We got to put him on the biggest platform, and we got to let him know, right? If this young man that I saw, on the picture, it makes an appearance. Listen, it's going to be groundbreaking. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. It's going to be groundbreaking. Breaking. Well, Trust me. I'll tell you it's groundbreaking, Coach. Luke Phillips with the $200 donation saying, I am in Dallas. Luke, I just got back to the house. I am 30, 45 minutes north of you, sitting right here in Denton, Texas. Just got back from Oklahoma saying, I'm in Dallas and on business and missed a day. Did not like the format and it's scrimmage. Milrow is quarterback one, Ty is quarterback two. I, listen, I, I was a bit more defensive of the format before the scrimmage, Luke. And I must admit, after watching it, though I still find it to be splitting hairs, I do understand the people who were against it. I understand the point a bit more, but I would say this. It's it's functionally the same, just in a different preparation. You ever gone to the store, you had a salsa that you just loved, but then they put it in a different bottle? That's kind of what we saw today, right? The salsa is still there. It was still ones, ones, twos, twos, threes, threes, but they put it in a different bottle. And I can understand being a little bit uncomfortable, no doubt about that. But coach, I, I want to take a bit and talk about some of these young guys, dissect that a little bit, because I was over the moon at what I saw at Justin Onkerwonkwo. Talk to me about what stood out to you from his perspective 
And then some of these young guys. Luke, thank you very much for the $200 spot, my man. Glad to have you a part of this channel. Glad to have you, you a part of the family. And you truly are one of the undefeated. Coach, to you. Luke, as well as Jay Townsend. Thank you, Jay. Another $5 super chat. Um, hope you guys do, man. Next year, let's make it. In, let's, we took a huge picture, man. Uh, let's definitely uh, put it in our books and get here. God willing. God willing, right? Uh, Coach, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I just had to ban on someone in chat. You can okay. have dissenting opinions. Yeah. I welcome that. The, the people in the undefeated that watch all the time will tell you. I am one of the people who welcome dissenting opinions more than most because I love this discourse. But what you're not going to do is be disrespectful. Who was so it? Just, Which one was it? It was Crouching Tiger. He made a comment that I'm not going to repeat, yeah. but you can dissent. You can have your view of how the quarterback should be everything, but we're not going to be disrespectful. And that's right. that's where I will put an end to that. Coach, I, I very much will apologize. I just had oh, to say cool. that. I not mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, you did your, you did the perfect thing. I did, I'm, I'm, I apologize to the chat. It's hard to look at the chat because I'm sitting so high up and I'm trying to make sure this – this this light ring don't fall again because the wind is blowing. I apologize if I miss some of you guys' comments, man. But let me before I even get my spiel. Shout out to everybody in the undefeated, man. Shout out to all you guys. Shout out to Marquita. I I wish I could get could get up with her and Travel Paneer. It's so sweet of them to see me at the bottom, man. Shout out to them. That's why I love this chat, man. Me and my brother Patriot, like we've been together all day, man. Shout out to Tink. Just everybody, everybody, man. You guys are absolutely awesome. This, and this is why this chat is different. This is why this channel is different, right? And if you see anybody talking crazy, point them out. We will hit them in the face with their bags. We will put belt to ass and get them up out of here. You know, we got no time for that, right? So thank you, Ty, for that, brother. Um, so, yeah, as far as the young guys go, I was very impressed with Justin as well. I, you know, I had to find out who that number – I was like, who is 40? It was 41, wasn't it? I was like, who is this 41, bro? I thought I honestly thought that was Justin Jefferson, but I found out Justin Jefferson was on the other side of the ball, right? And and as far as with the first team, I think he took um Jihad Campbell's place today, if I'm not mistaken. And um I seen Jihad, but I didn't see him play that much, right? I, I don't I don't I didn't see him play at all. I don't think. Did you see eleven all banged there? up? Yeah, he was suited up. I seen him in his suit, I seen eleven, but I did not see him on the field. So when you think about these young guys on defense, and what's crazy is it really lets you see, Ty, how young this team is, right? We have so many young guys in so many key spots. Um, defensive line, we got some younger guys. Edric Hill, Edric Hill, balling out of control, right? Um, uh, Justin Uncle, Justin O, as I call him, right? Um, all these kids are young, and we're not even going to talk about the secondary again. We have so many young kids, Ty in key positions, right? The, the future is very, very bright for this football team. And what I see is these guys are so talented that I do believe a lot of them are going to force their way into the rotations. I do believe these guys are going to force their way into the first, maybe second team rotation. So they will play. These guys will play. So I think you hit the nail right on the head, Ty. I do understand that uh, we have no choice at some positions. Uh, the transfer portal, it's going to be very important at some posi positions uh, upcoming. I guess we'll find that out starting probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, but I'm elated, Ty. I'm elated. I'm elated for um, how these young kids play. I said before the game, I wanted to see these guys compete. I know they're going to make mistakes. They're young. It's okay. But I want to see, can you compete? Do you drop your head? Do you get sad and ball up? Or you compete? Zabian Brown gave up a play, got back in there. He wanted some more. And he was playing press man. If you watch 15, he was playing press at a freshman. You got to give these kids their just due, Ty. And you hit the nail on the head. The young kids are here. They're here. Coach, I love what you said about Zabian and Brown. And I want to unpack this for everybody in the undefeated. Why specifically for Zabian and Brown that's so important? As a cornerback, you're going to get beat. Yeah, that's that's the nature of the game. Every cornerback out there is great as legendary as they are. They got beat. But yeah. the difference at cornerback is how quickly do you forget anybody in here? Watch Ted Lasso be a goldfish. 
Goldfish, as Ted Lasso say, coach, is the ha happiest animal in the world because they got a quick, quick uh, memory reset. They forget yeah. things very quickly. Well, Zabian Brown was a goldfish. You might get beat, but you have to move on to the next play. And that I loved seeing from the young guys was moving on to the next play. Understand, hey, I may have just taken a lump. But we must understand he also got beat by Jeremy Bernard. And, yeah. uh, Coach, I, I think that Jeremy Bernard is going to wreak havoc on yes. college football. That young man is good. He hungry, Very too. good. He's hungry, hungry, too. Yeah. And, Coach, lest we forget, Amari Jefferson, Ryan yes. Williams, Rico Scott, not on campus right now. Not on campus. Facts. Facts. This wide receiver room is looking great. Now, I saw someone ask about – uh, Adam says you're drawing every inference in favor of positivity outcome and it lacks objectivity with all due respect. I disagree completely. We talked about him taking a lump and then we talked about him resetting, getting back to it and going that in and of itself is admitting that there were negatives. Yeah. The very admission I'm saying be a goldfish is admitting there are negatives, but he is a young yes. cornerback. He has not yeah. been in college for six months. Of course he's going to take his lumps, but it's all That's about okay. moving on to the next play. That's mm -hmm. where I think we're, we're disagreeing here, Adam. It might, by the very inference of saying, be a goldfish, we're admitting, hey, you got beat. Well and good. What are you going to do the next play? Are you going to pout? Are you going to sulk? Or are you going to get right back at it? And that's exactly what he did. He went right back at it. Now, now, what I will say, I saw someone ask, why did Austin Mack look a little shaky? I have two answers for this, Coach. First and foremost, he should be a true freshman. Yes. He should be a true freshman. This is a guy that his freshman year in high school, they tried to move him to tight end because they said, you're too big for quarterback. Well, he ended up transitioning to a different high school, lit it up there, and ended up reclassifying and went on to Washington a year early. He should be a true freshman, and he also was paired with the third-team offensive line. Ladies and Bingo. gentlemen, our offensive line does not have Bingo. the depth right now. That's, that's a fact. That's that's a big question. If you're saying, Ty, what's your biggest question? Depth at offensive line, depth at defensive back. Yeah. He was working with the third team offensive line, and that offensive line, they're very much well in the developmental stage. And so you're going to look a little bit. Two walk-ons, and he's not yeah. Jalen Milrow or Ty Simpson to where he can out the pocket. You know that's what I mean? He doesn't have – he doesn't have that type of mobility. So I, I, I didn't see much that I would be too worried about with Austin Mack. I, I think yeah. that a lot of those came where he had the two early throws that were real low. Yeah. That, you know, no doubt about that. Two, those two throws were pretty much well clean. But after that, I thought he got in rhythm. But we also have to understand he's young, very yes. young. That's a whole fact, Ty. And I'll say this. The team that Austin was playing with, um, how can I say this in a nice way? He was playing with a team that was very, very, very absent of major overall talent. Um, when you put a quarterback on that third team like that, you're basically playing with a lot of walk-ons. You're playing with guys who uh, I, I don't really know how to – I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to take a sound like I'm taking a crap on them. I guess I'll say any quarterback you put with that team would have looked like that. Now the first couple of throws when he threw it low, obviously that was just nervousness. The kid, you know, he warmed up. He got better. Um, I'd like to see him with the second team, third team, uh, second team reps, uh, so he'll have an actual real weapon on the team. Uh, that offensive line that he was playing with did not give him. They didn't do him any justice, man. They didn't do him any justice. Uh, so you can't really judge Austin Mack or get a a, um, a a fair evaluation off of that team, right? So you got to give this young man time. You got to give him time to get the reps with, with, with like-minded talent, right? Um, I think Austin is going to be just fine. What I did see from Austin that I did like is after he recognized where the rush was coming from, he got rid of the ball. Um, he's not Jalen Miro. He's not Ty as far as the wheels are concerned, but he has a cannon. He has a cannon. He threw from one hash mark to the other, flat-footed. The kid has a cannon. 
Um, I'm just not very objective right now because everything that I had a question about, the things that I had a question about got answered. I don't see how anyone can be upset with Zabian. Zabian was playing press man on junior receivers, right? Guys who've had two years of college and Zabian, if you want to hold him accountable for the plays he gave up, hold him also accountable for the three pass breakups that he had, right? Hold him also accountable for the three pass pass breakups he had uh, playing press coverage as a true safety who was in high school at this time last year. Right. So I am not upset with that young man at all. I think he's going to be a baller. And I in me playing this game and coaching it for as long as I have. I see why he's on the other side of the money. Jackson. I see why we've had corners who went on. I'll say this. I'll even go so far as say this time if I can real quickly. We've had corners who ended up as all Americans that didn't play that well in the spring. Let me say that again. We've had corners here who went on to become all Americans who had worse a days than that young man just had press coverage by himself safety down in the box. I got you one on one. Right. Sure. He gave up a place, but he also made some right. This kid is straight 17, 18 years old, and I give him all the respect in the world, and he is going to be a star. Put Book it. So multiple things before I hop out of here, Coach. First and foremost, completely agree about Xavier Brown. Very lucky that he's with Alabama. As I have continually said, January 24th, I released a video on my channel. It said Nick Saban's parting gift. Well, the parting gift was Xavier Brown, Peyton Woodyard, Dre Kirkpatrick Jr., Zay Mincy, Jalen Mbakwe, that was Nick Saban's parting gift. And you can bet your bottom dollar that they are all going to shine. Love what I saw of Zabian Brown. I would talk to AJ right now. AJ, listen, I, I don't know what more you could have wanted to see out of Jalen Milrow. This is still a patchwork offensive line going up against a defensive front to coach. If I could add on to what you said about the unit that Austin Mack was working with on the offensive line, we need to understand there were still guys that would contribute on the defensive front going up against some walk-ons on the offensive line. That's how right. deep the defensive front is relative to the offensive line. Right. Jalen Milrow, the, the top two throws of the day both belong to Jalen Milrow. And had he not three had three to four drops, his – stats would have looked a lot differently. I know on the camera or on the broadcast, they were saying, oh, he's missed his last five throws. That's kind of dishonest, right? Because he hit Jaron Hamilton perfectly in stride on that comeback route to the outside and it went right through Hamilton's hands. To your point, coach, Zabian Brown nearly intercepted that now. He was right there nearly getting that interception. So the offensive line is still a work in progress. And it's still shoring itself up. And that defensive front is going to be really, really dangerous. So, mm -hmm. though, I, I would say, you know, I, I, I think that all quarterbacks look good. I think that, you know, with respect to Ty Simpson, with respect to Dylan Lonergan, with respect to Austin Mack, Jalen Milrow was very clearly the best quarterback and very Thanks. clearly so, had the so top God. throws of the day. God. Mm. So here's my take right here, Ty. I understand the objectivity. I get it. I get it, right? AJ is going to be AJ. He's going to be on Jalen Miro. That's fine. But here's the thing. I don't mind objectivity, but you also have to give the positivity. Same with Zabian. If you're going to get on Zabian for giving up a play, how about the three pass breakups he had? How about that? You don't want to talk about that, though, right? Let's not be negative on that, right? Jalen Milrow had the three, three of the best passes in this game, right? Here's my, my take on that. The offensive line played well, man. you got to give them their kudos, right? Wilkin Formby is probably not going to get rooted out of that right tackle spot now, the way he played today, right? Going into the fall, if Wilkin play anywhere near he, where he played today, Wilkin Formby will be the starting right tackle, right? It carries over to the fall, guys. you got to dominate the spring. You got to come back and dominate the fall, right? If we're talking about quarterback play, I still think Jalen Milrow is going to be the starter of this team. Um, do we have other quarterbacks like Ty who, who, who is awesome? I do. I, I have all the faith in the world of Ty, right? I have all the faith in the world of Dylan. I think Austin Mack will get his opportunity. 
Austin was out there with the third team. He had a couple of walk-ons on there, so you can't judge him or give him a, him a fair assessment off the team he had with him, right? So if you're going to judge that young man, put him with some like talent. You can't judge him off going in on a third-team offense. The young man have a few bad plays, and you say he's terrible. We can't do that, guys. That's unfair, right? Um, so I, I, I'm ecstatic, man. If you've seen what I've seen up close and personal with the positions that I had a concern about, I'm not upset at all. <laughs> I'm not upset at all. I'm I'm happy that I seen a corner opposite Demonte Jackson play press man, get up in the receiver and compete. I am ecstatic. I'm not I'm not sad at all. I am happy with both sides of the ball. We have Cal here. We have Smook here. We have Ty here. I'm ecstatic. But it don't get no better than this. We got Mia here. It don't get no better than this, guys. And That's we're all outside. Here. And we're all outside. Bro, tell me why the ring light just fell over and I caught it. <laughs> Are you serious? Why we were on live, you know? Uh, they're not that stable. Sorry. The fellas are here. Who is this guy behind me, man? Who is this dude? I don't want to say nothing. I just want to look at him. <laughs> so, Smook, we didn't tell Ooh. him about Jayla Milrow? Oh, wait till he mic up. Wait till he mic up. It's like 600 people in. Bro, what are you saying about Milrow? No, I ain't oh going to say God. that. I'm not even going to tell you, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, no sir. I, I don't care what they got to say. They saw it. They saw it. Facts. Hey, I quoted 1985 no George Orwell earlier. If you just exactly. you're, no matter which way you turn, you don't believe your eyes at this no point. Matter which you way you flip it. No matter which way. <laughs> That's the what you got to say now. Look, <laughs> that's what that is. I can tell you that is. Gentlemen, I'm gonna hop out of here. My laptop is dying. Okay, Ty. My laptop is dying. And okay, uh, you go, yeah, you go, gonna, you gonna hop back on. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Yes, okay, sir. I'm, I'm on. I'm with y'all tomorrow on the live show. We'll be back in the studio. We'll be all good. Got gotcha, you, coach. Brother. I know you. I know you're about to act out because you and I, since September, have been screaming about Jalen Milrow. And I don't I know what we want to see. Him has been screaming since September about Jalen Milrow. I, I, I can I don't think I got much else to say. I mean, that's the what you got to say now. Look. That's what that look is. I can tell you that myself. Ty, we, I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you. Yes, Roll sir. tide to you, broski. Roll tide. Mm. Ty says he's going to tap in. His computer's about to die. He's going to tap in with us. So I'm happy, guys. I'm happy. I, I have no bad thing to say. Yeah, that's fine. We'll grab that one. I am happy. The fellas are here. They are here now. The big two is here. I am ecstatic. I have no negativity to say. I saw what I needed to see. I saw competition. I saw young kids, young guys, young freshmen, ball out of control. I did. I wanted. I told you guys before the show, I wanted to see these guys compete. I understood the big plays were going to happen because they're young. But can you compete? Let me see you come back and compete. And I saw that. Even after Xavier gave a play up, he went back and playing press man and had a pass breakup. That kid is going to be very good. I see why he's starting on the other side of Damani. And Damani Jackson's a dog. Damani Jackson's a dog, man. That boy fast. That boy fast. Yeah. That boy fast. That boy got some wheels on him. Don't even me. That boy got some speed, man. <laughs> Keon Sapp, physical. Red Morgan, he might have had the hit of the game. Red like to kill somebody. I don't know who it was, but he smashed on somebody. Red Morgan is absolutely. He's awesome. He's awesome. Echo. Echo. What about now? The chat is lit. Great. The chat is the shot to Marquita. Shot to Marquita. Is that an echo on that side? Mm -mm. Shout out to Traveling Premier Sports. Shout out to the whole nine. Shout out to my brother, Patriot Light. Me and Patriot Light kicked it all day. That's my broski. I gave him Coach Smooth's number for the bowling event tonight. Um, AJ, tap in. So what you saying, AJ? Let me hear what you saying, brother. Pretty cool. I'm, I'm on this side. I hadn't seen what you had to say yet, AJ. Uh, shout out to Goobar, shout out to Tink too, as well. Shout out to Caleb. Um, shout out to everybody, man. 
Yeah. All right. Full screen. Yeah. Yep. Hey, y'all. Hey. I said if they can hear me. Can you guys hear Ty? Put in the chat if you guys can hear Ty. I mean, excuse me, Kai. Kyle. It's been a long day, man. I'm evaporating over there. Can you guys hear Kyle? Put in the chat if you guys can hear Kyle, please. Oh, test. How about now? They can hear me now. Yes. Test, test, test. All right. I couldn't hear you at first. I can hear you now, though. Is there an echo or anything? All right, cool. And then we should be able to do... Kill Tech, $10 super chat. Thank you, Kill Tech. No, nope. Kill Tech said... Green right here? Yeah. But just the sun is just killing us. Oh, my goodness. Wow. We might have to switch and, and yeah. man, hold on one second. The, keep I keep going, Coach Sean. I don't think that's the full answer. I was telling you that. I was getting a spring game. It's only so much you've been able to do in a spring game, right? But I do think, Coach, before yep. we really come out of the show, we can score. Just kind of turn a little bit, Coach Sean. Yeah. Yeah, so because of sun. One second, fam. We're doing a little musical chairs. Why we get going because the sun is just crazy. You know what? Unless we just move back over there. But can we can we move back with all our cords and stuff? All right. Can you guys hear me? Sean, volume down. Test one, two. Coach Sean, Mike is out. Okay. All right. What we're going to do here, Coach Sean. Here, Coach Sean, switch your mics. You and Smooth go on. You keep talking. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move everything back. Okay. On this one or yours? We're just, just you keep talking. Okay. You're going to have to move over here. Huh? Right here? Yeah. Right, where you want this at, right here? You got to go back. Everything going back. You got to keep talking on this guy. You just keep talking, Coach. So, we here. We're moving. We're getting the better spot. We're moving back, trying to get this lighting right. Yeah, and then Coach, just put it right there. And you ain't, Smooth, you can sit there. There you go. Okay, boom. You guys are good. Mm. Uno, dos. Mic check. Mic check. Can I hit Coach Smooth? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. That's the angle. Can y'all can y'all can y'all hear can y'all hear Coach Smoot? Can I hear Sean? Testing, testing, testing. Yeah, they can hear you, bet. Yeah. All right, bet. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're good. Hey, clap it up. Clap it up for A Day, y'all. Great. It's, I mean, awesome Great. experience. And then uh I just need like a 30 second. Oh, go ahead, brother. Stare down. I've been on here. Go ahead. <laughs> can I tell him what that what, what that is though? Yeah, you can tell. See, that's the um what you gotta say now. Look, that's that. I'm waiting for you. What you got to say now? Look on display. I'm gonna be quiet for like five seconds so you can really let it soak in. Starting now. I just Boom. Had, I just had to. I'm. I'm. Where's Adam? Where's AJ? AJ Maverick. Oh, been, AJ Maverick been hiding all off season. They ain't here. <laughs> Hadn't seen AJ since man. Jay Jay the middle. The, oh, real really. Listen to this. This is what's crazy. He looks the 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 medium uh the mid over the shoulder throw the crosser that he hit bro, Bernard and Stride bro, gave him I, space I, on the sideline. I'm play. not even paying him no attention. <laughs> to that. I like they say he couldn't do this. They say he couldn't do this. Read option, yeah, looking deep, bro. checking it down to the flats to get the first down. I'm Come on, man. No hey, I don't even want to talk about Miro right now. Yeah, Let's talk about the defense. Yeah. So a lot of people were talking about you know. The defense looked like it's going to struggle this, that, and the third. 
I'm going to tell you something, and I said this before when Kane Woman came in. Yeah. I said one thing about aggressive uh, defensive play calling is that a lot of times you're trying to set a tone, yeah. and you're going to have to gamble. And if you win early, you're going to win a lot. Sometimes you have to just stay with the flow. Yeah. There aren't many offenses that are going to be able to do what Kalen DeBoer, Nick Sheridan, and his Alabama offense is equipped to do the yeah. way that we do it. The formations, the sets. You see a lot of the defensive play calling. There wasn't a lot of shifting. There was a lot of base play yeah. calls, and they were forcing those guys to think on the fly. Of course. If you you talk about having those young DBs, a lot of a lot of young DBs in that secondary. It's a Who bunch played of new well, guys, man? And they played great. They I mean, played great. You look at the second half the, when they came out. There, the facts. Half, the adjustments that they were trying to make on the fly that they were not being coached to do. See how aggressive Xavier was, man. That's this, a freshman out there playing press man. man. You know how hard that is? They, they, bro, I wish we could tell you Wish we could tell you guys how hard that is. Bro, let me tell you. So you, you look at the skill sets that's available on the offensive side, right. the lack of depth on the defensive side, and you gotta you, you have to be proud of what Kane Womack and this and this defense did and, yeah. this, and, and the type of adjustments they were able to make. Yeah. I don't even want to talk to AJ no more. He, he don't know football no more. I, I promise you. If he's still – if anybody is still doubting what Miro is able to do in this short amount of time I, as far as progressing, oh, my God. This is what question I want to ask. Yeah. What what more like I want to know AJ like real talk. What do you need to see, man? This is an A day controlled scrimmage game. He made plays like I don't understand what you're not gonna throw for three thirty in the A day game, bro. Like I don't understand what you need to see. Please make me understand. What did you see from Jalen Miro that you didn't see from the other quarterbacks? I seen all the quarterbacks miss miss receivers, right? I seen all the quarterbacks. I don't understand. I'm trying to understand you, AJ. I really am. And so to 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 go into this quarterback competition, this is what I was saying about Ty Simpson. There was one play where Ty Simpson, instead of trying to make the big play with his arm, this is something that got him in trouble a lot last year. Yeah, he should have used his legs to live to fight the next play. He was a half when uh, when when uh, it almost got picked. Hubbard by the came across. Yes. No, yeah. not even that one. Which when, one? The the one where they he should it should have been a pick, but uh, I want to say. Uh, Ma it wasn't Malachi Moore, uh, Keon Sab. Okay, three, I think, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. he caught it out of bounds, yeah. And the referee came away. It was yeah. that close from being called a pick. Yeah, there were eyes there. I honestly, from my point of view, it was a pick. Honestly, yeah. it, but you saw how he made the adjustment. His ability to bounce back—that's what I love about Ty Simpson. That gunslinger mentality is something that you can live with when you have an arm talent like that. Yeah. But the facts. thing is, in this style of offense, you don't want to give away momentum. For sure. So because sure. Jalen Miro's decision-making, which I told you all he was getting better with, because his decision-making and his consistency with his decision-making, Jalen Miro has, is the only quarterback in this spring, this whole spring. It was just told in there. He had zero turnovers out of all the quarterbacks, zero turnovers between all three scrimmages the whole spring. That doesn't come with just using your legs. You see how many dump off passes he had. There were there were plays where the check down wasn't needed, and all three quarterbacks, uh, all four quarterbacks, were were jumping it off to the check down. That, that lets you know that the the timing and pace of this offense is something that they're taking a liking to, and that they're being taught. Yeah. Not that not not something that they're expected to figure out, but they're being taught this. They're being broke down. Shout out to Coach Mitch. The, uh, he's he's one of the guys that's on the staff that works with the quarterbacks. You can see the improvement in his room with having actual staff that supports the quarterback room. I want to give a big shout out to Coach Coach Kill Gauss Kill Cap Kapilovic Cap Cap Coach Cap Coach Cap. Just called Co Coach Cap. I want to give a big shout out to Coach Cap, man, because I told you guys I've been preaching all ever since the first scrimmage. I want to see the offensive line, the running lanes that those guys opened up. Shout out to James Brockermeyer. James Brockemeyer's a dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? The two plays I seen where Tim whipped him, where Tim crossed over and whipped him. Yeah. Um, this, this is this is where I laugh at. Like we're we're past that. We're not even talking about. I just want you to see it. That right? That's what I'm saying. That's that's where I laugh. I laugh because not now because they're because their arguments that they were trying to make before. It are are really on film that are they're getting shut down. Yeah. Now they gotta try to backpedal to something to try to bring it away from. No, we're not moving the goalposts. Jalen Miro showed out today. Man, if you, I, I'll say this, guys, you know, I, I try to be objective as possible. If you upset with what you saw in there, I really don't know what y'all watching. <laughs> no disrespect, I really don't, bro. That's how you want your scrimmage to go for your offense. You want to see your defense shake a little bit. Then you want to see your defense put their foot down and stop them. Yeah. You had highlights on both sides of the ball. Yeah. 
You don't want to go one way. You had both teams doing big things. That's what I like to see, man. High Power TV. I was very impressed with uh, Lonergan's poise today because yeah. everything in front of him was not ideal. Fact. It was a lot of things that were going on around him that were not ideal for a quarterback to come in and want to compete. That's a fact. But he showed poise. He kept going through his progressions. He kept trying to trust the offensive line yeah. protection. And you all, you know what? I know we're talking about the, off the offense a lot, but the defense was getting beat up early. But do y'all see the talent that we have at the defensive line? The yeah. depth at the defensive line? John Marine Lathan got out. Oh, my God. He, he got out. And yeah. uh, Edric Hill. Edric Hill Edric got out. Edric Hill is one of those guys yeah. that I, I, I just yeah. kept feeling something. And we also Justin Okunron yes. Kupo. Yes, I bro. was just about to say. Listen, I call him Justin O. Listen, bro, that kid is a freshman. Thumping. Let the teams in let the team in tackles today. It's crazy. Let the team in total tackles today. That kid gonna have he, he that listen, man. This is why I said I do not understand the 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 negative. If you are not excited about what you just saw, I promise you guys, man, what's happening to our fans, bro? Listen, I like that scrimmage better than the one last year. Just me. Yeah. It was it, it, it that, a tale of two halves, just like yes, Coach Kalen DeBoer said. Yes. You got a tale of two halves, and you saw adjustments being made. One thing, something that we harked on so much last year, yeah, the lack of the lack of ability to make adjustments on the fly. Like it was just in game adjustments. You saw it every drive. The defense, especially, man. Uh, you know, the first drive was was like satisfying. You want to see the offense come out and boom, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah, and you see what Jay, crowd into you see, it. you see how comfortable he is. You know, yeah. you see how the the running backs. Yeah. Oh my God! Hey, Daniel Hill. Daniel Hill, physical. Richard, I seen you. Richard Young. About Richard Young. When you first came, physical man. Them I'm, boys. I mean, we know Justice and Jam, Justice and Jam. They awesome. You know right? what? I get. I got to give love to Richard Young. Twenty five and twenty. Yeah. Daniel Hill. I told people, I, I'm not being biased. I really believe Alabama has the best running back room. I told them Kevin Riley's not even here yet. Turbo's coming the next year. Yeah. I do believe <laughs> Alabama has the best running back room in the country. That's yeah. just what I believe, man. I do, and and this is this is another Kevin Riley's coming in. Yeah, and yeah. that's that's the thing. Like he's another yeah. change of speed back. Yeah, I, I I I laugh at at the people that you know try to criticize a player for the negative. Let's let's acknowledge yeah. the positives, man. Justice Haynes, you know, he ended up not not getting as many snaps. I think it was controlled. It was it was meant to be that way. Yeah, uh, Justice Haynes is one of those guys. You you kind of. You, he's your bell cow. He he yeah. can really carry the load. But let's see how we can expand or uh, create more value for our running back room. Let's let's see what the depth look like. Jam Miller can be your lead back. Daniel yeah. Hill can be a lead back. Richard Young, man, Daniel Hill can catch too. Yeah, man, shock me. You, you remember? I don't know if y'all you were paying attention to the segment or was in on the segment when we uh, were able to watch the last practice. Yeah. And I was surprised at how you know how big he was, how powerful he runs. Yeah. But the soft hands as yeah. a running back, a guy that gets physical. Pass pro from the from the running backs so, was solid today. Solid, I mean solid. I mean offense, offense to me today graded out a minus, B plus area. You know, and I mean that that was just it was a few plays where you saw the execution wasn't you know one hundred percent, yeah, but it wasn't so noticeable. Another thing, man, shouts out to Coach DeBoer and this system. Yeah, man. The the uh, uh, so I was up in the press box. I had the privilege of being like a few seats down from George T. Yeah. Myself, George T, Ryan Fowler, some of the other uh, media. George T is up there drawing up play, drawing up like drawing out the plays. And from what we would usually see with a uh, uh, passing, uh, a pass block scheme yeah. or a flood or levels concept. Yeah. When you have an overload, overload yeah. or yeah. trips. Yes. That is not what this, this offense, that was a pull. That was a, a pull. I, I, I that talked was about crazy. that. that yes. Was, the read option with yes. the pull, and you yes. got levels concept over yes. top. Yes, bro. Is... I talked about that. I seen these guys pull, bro. I seen them use the center. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, you, you usually see, yeah. you, you usually see a guard or a yeah. tackle. Yeah, but a strong side. That's a whole fact. center. I mean, the center or the strong side That's, guard pulling. Yes, for RPO with a flood concept coming from the strong That's, side. I talked about that in length, bro. I said this is what's different. About this offense, man, you don't get that, man. No, you don't. That's run. If you're a linebacker, you're not you 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 see your slot, right? Yep. You see the, you maybe see the tight end, but you see your slot. You know you're making that early read. The safety, you know you're making that early of read. Course. But as a linebacker, what gives what gives the offenses like this so much space is the fact that the linebacker sees that guard pull, and guess what? What you taught Boom. as a linebacker, exactly. If he pulling, if he pull, run. yes, exactly. So you know he's gonna react to that. You and even, I mean? even if he doesn't. 
attack if he stands Just, still. That one second, yep. that's what we talked about. Yep. Boom. That's why I love this guy's offense, man. These Und- guys run counter off <laughs> everything, right? Undefeated. How many of y'all were happy to see Jet Sweeps today? Oh, oh man. Shout out to Cole uh, Adams. <laughs> Shout out to Cole Adams, man. We saw Toss Sweeps today. Yes. <laughs> We ain't seen talks we've been three, four years, man. <laughs> you should have heard the pre- the people in the, the the media and the press, man. In the I press know box, man. They, look, we were all in there. They're like, I know Josh Jacobs somewhere and was like, that's what I used to run. <laughs> used to <do. laughs> you Facts. know what I'm saying? Facts. I'm I'm not saying this team is there yet yeah. by any means, but I've seen massive improvement from what where we ended last year. Think about where we were at on all of our past scrimmages, man. Past eight eight. This you telling me that this didn't look better? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. It was it was a solid. It was a solid scrimmage. Uh, I mean, solid effort. Intensity was there. Yeah, it you, was. You saw guys, you know, yeah, being intense, being aggressive, you know, lay, laying the wood, you know. Shout you out know. to Justin Jefferson. Yes, that dude. Yeah. You know, one thing I am, Fast, I am reassured about today yeah. as we, you know, kind of talk about the defense. Yeah. We're deep at linebacker. Yeah. Inside. That, that kid is edge. fast. I didn't know he was that fast. Yes. Man. Yes. And that, you know what? That's the type of players you see. Alabama recruiting them in the 25 class. Those yeah. all those linebackers that can, can get in space smaller, yeah. and they can cover, yeah. but they can also chase them. they can diagnose the run. Justin Jefferson diagnosed the run so well today. Yeah. Uh I mean, the, these these running backs are different. You saw a lot of broken tackles. That was something that uh Kalen DeBoer uh was yeah. hyping about. Shout out to your boy, yeah. Wilk, Wilkin Foreman. Oh, and he showed out. He, man, Wilk, I, I didn't know he was that strong. Listen, in the run game, Wilkin might have I I think I counted from where I was sitting. About four pancakes. Yes, Wilkin had. I like his climb. His climb to boom, get to boom, the second, second level. level. Yeah. Yes, I love it. You know what? There's somebody that we have been overlooking for four years now. Uh, James. Who? Yes, James Brockham, my baby. That boy. I talked about him. Yes, James is physical Handle man. Handle his own. He today. did. I am so proud of him. Him and Tim. When Tim was him and Tim was going, going back, it. they was going, going at, at it. it man. He he got over on Tim Smith a few times. A few times. Yeah. Not only Tim Smith. But when uh when they sent the blitz and he had to pass it off to the left of guard and pick up the the Mike linebacker cup. Yeah. That was a I mean these, quick he quick coach too. cap. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to Coach Cap and Shouts his old coach line, cap, man. man. This the old line development. I'm telling you, y'all. And and please don't worry about the defense. It was yeah. it was today was a, a very vanilla play calling day. Yeah. I was excited to see just how the freshmen, the young guys, all exactly. the young guys that that are just just enrolled, you know, a month and a half ago, two months ago, how they were uh, res- being receptive and how they're carrying over everything that they're learning every practice. I so love him. Bakway may be a returner, man. Man, listen. Yeah. If he's a punt returner, that'll be awesome. But yeah. to see Kendrick Law back there and Jam Miller for yeah, kick man. return, that's too strong. You basically yeah. got two running backs that could really once one crease and yeah. they're gone. You're over not with. catching Jam Miller. Yeah, I know, right? That's that crazy. Boy is fast and Ty Simpson going to be a transfer reporter? Nah, he not. I don't think so. I don't think so. And, and Adam, you know what? I, I'm gonna acknowledge you for for maybe 30 seconds here. Adam, stop trying to rip, go back to a conversation we had a couple of days ago because all the points that you were making about Miro not being able to read, not being able to check down, not being sure in the in the pocket, not trusting his O line. He he got good snaps all day. One bad snap. Yeah. One bad snap today, and it wasn't a horrible snap. It was nowhere near as bad as the snap that he got 98 percent of the year last year. Fact. He got one bad snap. But you see what he does with a good snap? He's able to get his eyes downfield. Yeah. He's able to get go through his reads, go through his progression. Even when protection breaks down from mm-hmm. his from his uh left tackle position. Yes. He he was able to feel the pocket today. I mean, now, and- I'm gonna say this, Mook, and I'm not gonna diss nobody. I do believe the competition is still ongoing at left tackle. Oh, yeah, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be, and I and do believe. You know what? Y'all remember how hard I went on Caden Proctor about make about Caden Proctor coming yeah. back. Caden Proctor, I apologize. I saw that cat. <laughs> yes, we big boy and yeah. slimming down. Yes, that ain't no three sixty no that, more. No, that, no, about three thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. three twenty five. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Listen, Caden Proctor, I apologize. Face listen, all skinny. Listen, I ain't gonna be like some of these fans that being here and can't admit when they was wrong. Caden yeah. Proctor, I was wrong. I'm glad. Listen, respect I'm a, to that, Caden. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. Listen, it's okay. You can stay. You can stay. Please stay. I, listen, if you're gonna come back and do what you what you was starting to do last year, yep. Please stay. Please yep. stay. I don't care about I. Did you get? Can I get twenty dollars out of that hundred K you took from them boy? Please. That's all I'm saying. I'm yes. just saying. Yes. I, hey, shout out, shout out to my boy, man. Shout out to Caden. Hey, Caden yeah. Proctor, come in and work hard, man. Cause yeah. 
the left tackle, and I'm not I'm not dissing those boys. Facts, facts. Not dissing no facts. Boys. Me but, either. But, Me but, either, man. But to see everything from left guard to right tackle look solid, mind you, there was a backup left. There was a backup guard in the game for the majority of the, of the scrimmage. Who was yeah. it? Rock Montgomery. Oh yeah, Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty five. I know Oh, I, I, what number was he? Joseph, I know the sixty nine. Sixty nine. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah Joseph, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know solid man. Solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm just excited, y'all. I'm yeah. excited about this development, but yeah. definitely we need that competition at left tackle. Hopefully, Caden Proctor could come in yeah. and continue to grow like he was, he like he ended the year. Um, I have a feeling this office is going to make, make use, make us realize how Bill O'Brien was wasted people's talent in the first half. Seeing wide receivers not the wide receiver not dropping balls, that's all I need to see. Not only that, there were a few drops. Miro had, I think, five incompletions today. I think Dylan Lonegan had one in the end zone to uh somebody. And, and I, I mean the wide receivers, was. they were beating themselves up today. Yeah. I mean, some of them drops, they weren't very contested. They were catchable balls. Yeah. And they were they really were beating themselves up. So that shows you the level of accountability. So I mean, but you look at the rate, the rate of passes, the delivery. That, I was confident about it. I think you fix those things. A and, lot of a lot of this spring too. Yes, man. It's spring, man. Yeah. You yeah. gotta think these guys don't get six weeks to get in a groove, That's you a know fact. what I'm saying, and just start exploding when the when yeah. the gauntlet hits. This is spring. That's a whole this fact. is evaluation. Yeah. You know, someone that I was kind of, you know, I'm not gonna say disappointed. I was mm -hmm. expecting him to finally take advantage of his opportunities. Jaron Hamilton. Yeah, we had been looking for Jaron Hamilton. Y'all remember we had a segment where we was like, "It's make it or break it." We, we, you got to start making some noise now yeah. in order to see. Jaron Hamilton was one of those guys, and he had a, a sideline pass from Miro that was just yeah perfect man. delivery, and he did not bring it in. You yeah. know, and that kind of shook his confidence. Same thing I saw from him in practice the other day. So hopefully that doesn't lead to you know a portal entry, but. I, I wouldn't be surprised because Cole Adams showed out, and they Cole they, Adams man they play on the same level. Yeah. They play with like yeah. same rep count, so that if, kid fast too, man. If they're if they're fighting for three or four extra reps, yes, Cole Adams has those extra reps right now. Yes, you know, and, and that that just sets you up for success. So, what you think about the money, Jackson? Man, let me tell you, that boy fast. <laughs> yes, that boy ate the money. That boy fast. That, not only is you he fast, fast, bro. Not only is he fast, man. He makes it hard to throw to his side. Yes, he played with good leverage too, man. He makes it. You so see hard. that? He, you know what? I knew he was feeling himself when he had the ISO coverage. Yeah, yeah. And he lined head up. Yeah, he he wanted it. He wasn't worried. <laughs> right. Whatever y'all want to do. He didn't shade. Boom. Facts. He didn't he didn't outside leverage. No nope. lined head up square. Yes. That's and confidence, man. That's confidence. He had the tight end split on him. Yeah. He didn't care. No. I mean, and but you know what I did see? And, and it was very uh shaky at the beginning. Yeah. I saw the secondary communication passing off routes. Uh, the levels concept got yeah. confused one or two times, but they made adjustments. Yeah, every time. So I, I was happy overall with everything. Um, I think you saw the comp you, you saw the competitive nature that they've been bragging about with yeah. this team. Uh, it, it's just it was good to see it all, man. Uh, but that now I will say this: thirty-one nothing. That that was alarming with the defense. Yeah, but that resiliency. Yeah, I remember last year our offense went through the same type of mentality. I think this defense is learning early that they cannot start slow. Yeah, that was the first thing Malachi Moore said. Y'all probably don't uh, have the interviews. Uh, we we didn't upload the interviews yet, but they will be uploaded. We had uh, Jalen Miro, Tyler Booker, yeah, Deontay Lawson, Malachi Moore, and Jam Miller, and and, and all of them. Uh, I didn't get I didn't get to see Jalen's uh, interview. Kyle when I got Jalen, but I had the rest of them with uh, you know Booker. Yeah, uh, Booker was happy. Book, Book was very satisfied. With a lot of guys on that old line, um, book got down too. Shot the booker, yeah, man. man. Boy, I mean, was, we, we kind of knew it. We kind of yeah, knew yeah. Like I that. knew that. I wouldn't worry about the guards at all. Yeah, I yeah. mean, Jaden Roberts, man. I, I just hurt. You know, He's still balling and, and still balling. Yeah, you know, he. I don't think you know talking with his mother. I didn't think he was going to play. Today. I was shocked to let him play. Yeah, I was that, but that's good because yeah. that means last week it wasn't that bad. Like I said, right. I told y'all it, it didn't look bad. Right. Crutches was a precautionary thing. Uh, a medium, a mild high ankle sprain. So he probably not putting the weight on it. Yeah, he probably did. And did his treatment all week, and you yeah. know, I, I just I can't wait, man, to see what <clears throat> what comes out in the fall. Let me get yes. my drink, man. Go ahead, brother. Get my coat. So oh, yeah, I'm guys, gonna... I'm excited about it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy about it. Um, about as happy as you can be during a scrimmage game. Um, I have nothing to prove to you, bro. You're a what are you talking about, AJ? Calling people clown. What you what you, what you talking about, bro? AJ. Oh, he mad at me. You know, I'll be hurt. Goofy, yeah, go ahead. What? 
Good. Come on, AJ. Don't do that, bro. What you talking about, man? What's up, baby? <laughs> you been reading it, Mia? What they doing? I got a man. Yeah, Caden is Jarvis. He is man. I mean, that kid had he he's obviously committed and done something different. You know a, what voice, I'm a voice of one calling. He said, "Kyle, you are known by the company you keep." What's that supposed to mean? I don't know what that means. Smook about to oh. Hey, <laughs> goofball, right? I hey, Chris from New Jersey. I already put my little funds aside to get you them ribs, man, because I feel like you was right about Caden Proctor. I'm not against beer. Look, if I was wrong, I was wrong. Look, after today, I and the thing is, man, I would love to see Elijah Pritchard get better, man. I would love to see him be more consistent because he had some reps where he just kind of dominated, man. Yeah, I think Elijah, Elijah gonna be. He's just one of those kids. He'll develop. Yeah. He's, you know, he take his time developing. Yeah. Um, It's going to be some competition at that left tackle, though. Yeah. It's going to be some competition. That's a whole fact, man. <laughs> Adam Lamparello, why you so mad, man? I, I, I just want to ask Adam, y'all. Why you so mad, Adam? It, I, like, I feel like he's really mad that Miro had a good scrimmage. That That's sad. That's sad. Like, why would we be mad about Miro improving today? I still see people. And, and we're not saying he played a perfect game. You know, all of the quarterbacks, to me, played good. Yeah. No turnovers. You know, one close. No, it was actually two close ones today. Uh, Miro let one go inside when Kendrick yeah. Law, he, if he lets it go outside, gives Kendrick Law a better, yeah. a better opportunity. But it, it wasn't one. You know, Sap rotated late. And it was know. a good play by the safety. Yeah. Getting over there he, like that. And you saw his speed. Yeah. You saw his recovery speed. But, uh, and that's something that you, you I feel like they're going to continue to work on. You know, uh, they were they were, everybody was so surprised. <laughs> no, you didn't. He never said that. <laughs> he never said that. That's why we're talking about it. He never said that. Oh, man. Pritchard looks like Roberts. You think so? You think so, DeBose? I thought he was. When I, like I, I say this, I say when he's, when his motor is going, when he's on. Maybe in the of, run. I mean, the pass the pro, man. That, that, that was scary to see, man. That left tackle position in pass pro all day was like so inconsistent, but. All the quarterbacks still continue to perform. They went, yeah. you know, and, and, and that's something that we're going to really have to watch going into the fall. You know, I think a lot of people are really, really ready to see just a, a complete unit. You yeah. know, we had pieces last year. They show up at different times. Yeah. I'm ready to see all the pieces show up at the same time. Yeah. At the same time. And I think I think we're going to see it. I think with this staff and this new this new scheme, we're going to see it. AJ, let me let me address. Let me address AJ real quick. Yeah. AJ. I challenge you to go back last year. If we're talking real football, <laughs> go back and watch Miro last year in the scrimmage. Watch his progression. Watch his hesitation. Watch this year, the quickness of the ball coming out. Even when he missed the throw, he knew where it was the right decision. It was the right decision. Really put your football knowledge on it, man. Right? He wasn't hesitant. Even when he missed the throw, it was the right decision. That's where he was supposed to go with the ball. I'll take that in the spring. I'll take that. So, I don't know what we're talking about, man. I don't. This is what I was saying about Ty, man. I love Ty. That arm talent is, he got the best arm. Talent. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, I've been saying that. Yeah. It's that inconsistency, man. He, and he does get shaky when that pocket starts. I mean, and the touchdown run that he thought he had, he called himself, thought he was going to spin off. Who was number 15? You remember who was laughing Zabian. about that call? <laughs> I think that's Xavier. Like, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 15. Yeah. So maybe let me pop on. Tell, yeah. Tell, like, yeah. Why don't you guys wind down, give me a closing mark. I'll pop on, give my final thought, and then yep. wrap it up. Bet so, that. This is what we'll do. All right. So, Coach Sean. Yes. Uh, Kyle, if you don't mind, we'll do offense, final thoughts. We'll go back and forth, two minutes. Then we'll do defense, final thoughts. And then we'll do A day. Okay. And then we'll let Kyle close it out. All right. All right. So, offense, final thoughts. Shoot. Two minutes. My final Boom. thoughts is I am completely satisfied with the offensive line for the spring. For the spring. I've seen our offensive line in the spring look tremendously worse than this. Uh, today, these guys opened up run lanes. These guys opened up they, the pass protection is where it needed to be for the spring, right? We're not playing a game next Saturday. For the spring, go back and look at our offensive line last year or the year before. For the spring, today, the offensive line has made strides. 
from the first practice to a day. That is my final take on the offense as a whole. I'm satisfied with the offensive line for where they're at right now. Uh, roll tie, real quick before I get my final thoughts. No, we I I didn't have stats, but they did have stats, man. And um, we're going to get a hold of them, and that's one thing that we're going to discuss on our Sunday live. We're going to really break down the scrimmage and get into it. Final thoughts on the offense, though. Chance, what up, Coach Jay? Oh, Coach Jay, what's good, my Shout boy? Shout out to Coach J, man. Hey, I, listen, we're we going to talk about that. Jenny uh, Forsyth. Uh, everybody, welcome in for the ones that's just coming in. Marquita. Marquita them waved at yeah. me from down Marquita, there, man. Yeah. I Wait. tried to put them on the camera. Y'all, I, hey, I'm glad a lot of y'all showed up today. Oh, that's one thing, too, before I even get my take. The undefeated showing up today, bro, we were crazy out here in numbers. Crazy. But uh, the love that Bama football on YouTube was showing today was tremendous. Uh, final thoughts on offense, man. I, I, I love where we're at all but one position, that left tackle. Simple as that. I love where we're at. I see where we can be elite. Now, I'm not saying we are today, but I can see where we can go to be elite in every position on that offensive front. Yeah. Defensively, I'll go first with the defense. Okay. I love the adjustments. Yeah. We got a lot to work on. The yeah. getting pushed around early was not good, you know. Yeah, and, and and it was a lot of battle in the back and forth, but that second level got to be more consistent in run support. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, and that's going to come with time. There's the new run fits in the set coming from the secondary. For so, sure, for sure. Um, to see the leadership of Malachi Moore, Keon Sab, you know, Keon Sab, he, he made me question him one time though. Yeah, one time he, he could have went it and, and really stuck it in there and, and yeah. went up against Jam. He kind of hesitated, man. Yeah, can't can't have it if you get rotated to the top in the red zone. Fact, you can't have it. So. Um, but overall, man, I can't wait to see these young guys get opportunities because they will. They you see will. the rotation. Yes. D line, you couldn't tell who was the first D line because they kept rotating. Yep. I mean, this is exactly what we was looking for. Swarm D is going to be in full effect once the fall hits. For me, my final take on defense is the young guys. Um, young offensive linemen like Edric Hill coming in, really, really, really being a force, man. Uh, even though John Moran Lathan. Is an older guy. He's really, really playing a lot now. It's no more sharing for real. Uh, he did rotate, but I think he went out with the, with the first defensive line, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Zabian Brown on that corner, giving up a play, coming back, having a pass breakup, give and take. For those that didn't play football, that's what you want to see in the spring, man. Give and take. You don't want to see one side dominate. You don't want to see this side dominate. Give and take. Offense started out hot, punched them in the mouth. Defense come back and stop them. That is what you want to see, guys, in the spring. So I'm happy with the young guys. I'm happy to see these guys step up and compete. I was worried about that, but I'm really, really, really ecstatic about what I saw. That means these guys are getting coached. That means these guys have confidence, and that means the future is bright. Hey, shout out to Kill Tech 9 for the $10 super chat, man. Kill he said Tech. the tight end room. Also looked awesome. I can't wait to see the team. Robbie Oops. I told y'all yes, about Robbie, Robbie Oops. Oops. I told you Robbie this is Oops, the year man. He's going to be able to get – that exposure, man. Yes. Him and CJ Dupree. Yes. I love CJ Dupree, man. Yeah. I love I, Danny Lewis, too. Robbie Josh, Robbie has a mullet, so you know he tough, yeah, man. That boy. You can't wear a mullet. He needs a motorcycle. Soft. He need a Harley, baby. Yes. He, he need a Harley, baby. Yes. Um, and final thoughts overall, man, for A Day. This environment was electric. 72,285 or 235, something like that. I tweeted yeah. it, y'all. Um, we have more players at our A Day game yeah. than Washington has at th their normal games. That was something uh Sioux Falls, the wow. first school that Coach Kaylin the board went to. He said, uh, he said we our practice attendance, open practice attendance is probably gonna be more than what they uh had, had the at game. Sioux Falls. Yeah. yeah, so it's crazy to know yeah. that the, the fan base is uh behind the team like they are. I mean, just showing up means a lot to these yeah. these young men. The energy that they that the fans brought, uh Coach Saban being here, making yeah. an appearance, that was awesome. Dallas Turner being a surprise guest over at the uh Denny Chan. So it, it, it really felt good. It really felt good. Shout out to Adam Lamparello with the $10 Super Chat. Adam. Coach Mook, I challenge you to bowling when I go to Tuscaloosa. All right. Final thought, bro, <laughs> on A-Day. My <laughs> final thoughts on A-Day is this. The undefeated showed up. The team did what they were supposed to do. The fans showed up to show love. The undefeated showed up. You guys really, really tapped in, showed love, man. Um, you couldn't ask for more. Great day. It was hot, but, you know, we can't complain because it's a beautiful day. It's still a beautiful day. Yeah. So my final thoughts is thank you to the undefeated. Thank you to everybody that showed up, man, and showed love. Thank you. I met Coach Smook's parents. His father looked just like him. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Senator Hines looked like he could play. He looked like he'll do something to you hey. even today. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the Hines family's beautiful mother. You know what I mean? His family. 
uh, me and Kyle, Smoot, we all hung out. It is so weird to have people running up to you, acting like they don't know Patriot you, like, like they man. know you. Man, me and Patriot like been together the whole time. Man, Patriot like that's is my that broski, dude. man. We might, Kyle, we might I gave him your him number a, too because he wanted a rare staff position, right? He trying he try to link with you tonight on the bowl. I gave him your number. We are. Ain't okay. no trying to. We are. Like, Listen, you guys are awesome, man. You guys are awesome. You show my daughter love. You know what I'm saying? Love the undefeated. You this what this is what make this channel different. This is what make this channel different. I'm see, I'm seeing other channels now start to name their chat and do all of these copycat things. They're copying Kyle Henderson. That's mm -hmm. a whole fact. Facts. I said it first. They're copying Coach Mook. Remember been who you said this. it? Remember? Who, I didn't say. Don't say me. Don't be out there saying Coach. Mook I said, said it. it. The biggest form so of imitation. The biggest form of flattery <laughs> is imitation. Yes. So we don't mind. It's fine. Yes. Get your copy on, player. Yes. It's cool. We know who started. The truth is in the detail. It really is. Shout out to Coach Jay. I mean Uncle Jay with the twenty dollars super chat. He said Jay initially Townsend. I was disappointed in the defense, but they got better. I will definitely be there next year. Coach Sean, don't forget to send me your number. Got hey, you. I got to get it from Smook. Yeah, we got you. Patriot got you. Life. Hit Smook up tonight, bro. Yeah. Much love to my brother, Patriot Life. Janet Forces, love y'all to death, man. Marquita. Oh, Come we're say gonna, bye. Gonna let, uh, Come Coach, say we're going to let uh, Kyle get the rest of the Super Chats, y'all. We're going to step out the way. Let me say something to the people, and then we're going to get out the way so Kyle can close this thing down. Wait, hop up, 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 hop uh, she's tired, she's been working, she's been working out. Uh, okay. Roll Tide and bye, y'all. Y'all better tune in <laughs> next time, okay? Y'all. See y'all undefeated. Roll Tide Thank y'all. Thank y'all again. If I don't see y'all again tonight, um, catch y'all on the next one. Tomorrow we will be doing a live. Kyle, here's Kyle Henderson, the man himself. Hey, I got to do this on, on camera. I got to do this because this my dude real quick. I got to do this. Come on, Kyle. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. I got to do this. I got to do this. Kyle, and I'm doing this in front of everybody. This ain't for no show. I've been doing it all day. He probably getting tired of me saying it. Bro, I want to thank you, man, for this opportunity. Mm. January of this year, mm. I did not see this. You get what I'm saying? Mm. I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't fathom. But undefeated, y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I get one-on-one -on -one by myself. This is my mm. first time being able to do this in person. Mm. Bro, I want to thank you. Yeah. This opportunity. I, I know Sean appreciate it. I know Ty, I know everybody appreciate it, man. You're doing something yeah. great, bro. And myself, this team, my family, mm. my parents, mm. we're 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 behind you 100, percent man. Yeah. Do not let nobody shake you. You have changed the game. Today has put a foot. You have put a footprint on this game when it comes to covering Bama football, yeah. man. Mm. And, and I I commend you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank appreciate you. Man. I'm you, proud man. of you. I'm out undefeated. Yeah. All right. I'm proud. I'm proud of you. Guys. I'm gonna stand up though for my little closing. <laughs> I like to stand up. Yeah, you could just like rearrange the. I got a couple couple things I want to talk. Hey, Coach Sean, I, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Okay. You guys ready to spin it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. <sighs> There's a lot to talk about today. And I think today needed to be about Alabama football fans because I think it was bigger than the scrimmage itself or whatever the stats. I'm going to go over the stats with you guys and give you my closing remarks um on this uh you know i'm gonna spend with like 10 minutes with you guys and i'm gonna close out but <clears throat> let me talk to you about something what alabama football fans went through together from january 14th or whatever it was when coach saban retired to now like the fans needed each other and they got that today there was so much camaraderie think about this kaylin DeBoer at washington you know how much the washington football stadium the capacity of it seventy thousand. There was more than 72,000 for a spring game here. I'm so proud of you Alabama football fans that came out to support this coach and the players most importantly. And I know you guys are always supporting the product, but I have to say that, honestly. did an amazing job supporting a new coach. And I think it added some closure, in a sense, because you got to see Coach Saban. He was able to talk to the um, – you had uh, Jalen Milrow, you had Malachi Moore, you had Dallas Turner put their hands in cement as leaders who exemplify leadership for the University of Alabama. Loved it. Um, before I talk about the game, there's a couple things that I want to hit on. Uh, today, the undefeated, we met you in person. You met us in person. And before we met the undefeated, I really want to talk about uh, Jenny Keckney. She came from Houston, Texas, okay? She drove all the way here. And I was talking with her uh, today on the quad. And I said, why did you drive over here, Jenny? And she said, well, I have stage four cancer. 
and this is my bucket list. It was to see as many Alabama football games as possible. And it made me realize, like, while she feels that her days are numbered and cancer sucks, that all of our time is limited, right? But kind of a blessing is that she understands that right now is the present. So absorb today. Absorb this moment right now. And for Jenny Cackney out there, I'm praying for you every single day. And I'm so glad and honored to be able to meet you today and to be able to give you a hug. My thoughts and prayers out there with you. And a roll tide from our entire family to yours. Uh, Patriot Life. Was able to meet Patriot Life. Saw Patriot Life. He has an undefeated hat. He has an undefeated shirt. And it was amazing to see him. Honestly. Came with it. And he exemplifies what the undefeated is. The Undefeated is a community right here on the YouTube channel that has come together, that has been built by all of us together. Patriot Life has done a really good job. Uh, the people that I met today, I really appreciate you guys coming out. Um, if I don't mention your name, don't hold it against me. There were so many people that recognized the YouTube channel. So um, really big day overall for the community. And I think it was really good for everybody to kind of break bread uh, and enjoy this beautiful day uh, that we are blessed with. Because... Honestly, like, where would you rather be? Um, before I get to the game, uh, special thanks to Westgate Luxury Condos. Uh, this is an amazing place. And uh, they provide us this place to have our postgame show at. So thank you to them. When you come into Tuscaloosa, think about Westgate, whether it's parents weekend, basketball game, whatever. All right. Let's talk about um, the game, okay? So number one, my biggest takeaway when I look to – Alabama's spring game is the running back production. What did you notice from the first couple of series was that the running backs were eaten. And I've told you just recently that these running backs were going to eat, whether it was Jan Miller, whether it was Justice Haynes, whether it was Richard Young. Jan Miller took the opening handoff and he raced down, what was it, 37 yards or something like that, finishes out the day rushing for 83 yards off eight carries, two touchdowns as long as with 48 yards. Jan Miller could be the number one premier back at any program in the country. You are lucky to have him here. You're also lucky to have Justice Haynes, who scored a touchdown. Um, I think it was Rev, who we met for the undefeated, said that he saw him on the sideline with the bag of ice. I don't know what the up. I'm sure he's fine. Um, but Justice Haynes also scored a touchdown. Look, Richard Young ran angry. He ran, you know what word I've been hearing a lot from Coach Kalen DeBoer? Even Jalen Murrow used it in his postgame press conference. Starving. Richard Young is the definition is he was starving. He didn't have a lot of opportunities last year. The young man, the way he played today, I know Jan Miller got the MVP, and rightfully so, but, but Richard Young was running over people. He ran angry. And to have another running back like that in the fold, absolutely amazing. I think Daniel Hill's time will come, 100%. And uh, he's a very good running back as well. He's just young. But Richard, Richard Young, man, I'm proud of you. If you're out there, keep doing your thing because everybody tonight – when you're going around and you're talking about what stood out today, who stood out today, it was you, honestly, along with Jan Miller. But you, Richard Young, you did your thing. Congratulations to you. Quarterback-wise, Jalen Milrow, he had 100 yards passing, 52 was his longest, connected with Jeremy Bernard twice. We talked about that connection um, and how that connection was going to be uh, potentially during the spring game, going in the season, whatever the case is. Jeremy Bernard clearly proving that he can be that guy. I know it's a spring game. I know it's a small sample size. But Jeremy Bernard today catches for three receptions for 122 yards along the 52 yards. Ty Simpson, you see his continued development. Ty Simpson uh, had 102 yards today with 34 yards. I want to hear um, 34 yards rushing. I want to hear from you inside the comment box. What did you see from Ty Simpson? What were your takeaways about Ty Simpson? I think when I looked to Dylan Lonergan, I saw him reel back and fire a really nice pass. Eight for 12 on the day with 67 yards. Longest was 18. Uh, when you look to the defensive side, get this. Justin Okoronko, you know how many tackles he had? He had 11 tackles today, five of them solo. Uh, Jeremiah Alexander, he had seven tackles. Red Morgan, we've been talking a lot about, had four tackles. Um, so, you know, 
that we're going to dive into this. We're going to have our show tomorrow morning as well. And of course, we'll have overreaction Monday. And guess what happens? The transfer portal opens up on Monday. You also had a commitment today in Lotzier Brooks, uh, who committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide. When you t- look to playmakers, guys who have absolute elite speed, Lotzier Brooks is that guy. I love to say his name out of New Jersey. So Kalen DeBoer has proven he's gone from California to New Jersey. He's done a great job uh, recruiting, and uh, Lotzier Brooks is the newest to the class of 2025. I appreciate you guys supporting the product right here on Bama Football on YouTube, but it's bigger than us. It's about these guys right here at the University of Alabama, right? That's the stadium. You can't really see the stadium, but the stadium is right there. And about Kalen DeBoer, you guys did an amazing job um, <clears throat> supporting your team and the players. Um, get the merchandise, buy their stuff, support the players, support the product. I appreciate you guys. I'm proud of Coach Smook. I'm proud of Coach Sean. Mia did a great job. She helped me produce. Um, there's a lot that goes on. T did an amazing job. She's the one who uploaded the press conference today. So it's a, you know, there's a big group of us that are running Alabama football on YouTube. It's bigger than me. I understand that. And I appreciate you guys. Um, I look forward to catching up with you guys on my next video, but um, you know, please, please continue to support the product. We really appreciate you guys. We get it. It was amazing to see you guys today. I hope you enjoy our coverage right here on Bama football on YouTube. You have Kalen DeBoer's press conference. You have Jalen Miro's press conference. Coach Smoot caught up with the, the additional players. Uh, we have a short on Lotsier Brooks. There's a bunch of other shorts. And uh, please pray for our um, our Alabama football fan, Jenny Cackney, on her trip back to Houston. Um, I don't know. That just hit me today. So, you know, life is real. And, um, and I like it. I like it like that. I like when I feel stuff. You know, it's good to feel stuff. Uh, because, you know, this time right here that we have together, this is the present. This is where I want to be. I want to be in tomorrow. I don't want to be in the past. I want to be right, right here. So, uh, Jenny, if you're listening to this, thoughts and prayers with you. And uh, everybody inside the Undefeated, and if you're new to the channel, we appreciate you guys. Think about becoming a fan funder. For only $2.99, you can support the product right here on Bama Football on YouTube. Again, thank you very much to Westgate Luxury Condos. Uh, Jillian Pierce, thank you so much for allowing us to be here. We really, really appreciate you guys. One more time, for beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Kyle Henderson, Coach Smook, Coach Sean, Mia, and everybody else in the undefeated. My name is Kyle Henderson, a Bama football on YouTube. Have a beautiful evening. Enjoy this beautiful night right here in Tuscaloosa, wherever you're watching from. And we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning right here on Bama football on YouTube.